Freddie Roach, Freddie back here in Macau. It's been about a year since we've been back. You've been here obviously very busy with uh, Zhao Shiming and, and other fights, but back here with Manny. Uh, how do you like this place for him to be fighting? It's very close to where you're gonna train in the Philippines, close to home. How do you like Macau for Manny? Macau is a great place. Uh, you know, it's a uh, great, great atmosphere, great, great audience, uh, very, uh, very Filipino audience. Uh, it's great to have many fight here. You saw him stand face-to-face uh, -face with Chris Algieri for the first time. Uh, could possibly be the tallest opponent that, that Manny's faced. He looked about Margarito's height, maybe even a little bit taller. Um, do you th see that posing any sort of a threat? Obviously, he's a boxer. He jabs. He moves a lot. Manny likes guys that kind of stay in the pocket a little bit more. But with the height advantage, uh, what do you see there with him? Well, you know, the thing is, we'll get inside the jab, break his body down like we do with Margarita. It's not a hard system to do, and uh, he, he's nowhere near the caliber of Margarita, so I don't see this being a difficult fight at all. You're going to train in the Philippines for the entirety of the camp. Uh, do you like that when he trains there in the Philippines, or would you rather have him in L.A.? I'd rather be in L.A. It's easier to be home because I have a lot of the, uh, the fighters and so forth. But the thing is, for this fight, being here in China, being in the same time zone as Philippines, and not having to suffer with jet lag or anything like that, it's, it's, a, must, it's a must situation. So it's something uh, we do, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll have fun doing that because we have fun during training camp for sure. Yeah, he always seems loose and have a smile on his face. Obviously, he's doing what he loves, but being there in the Philippines, He's got the new baby, he's got the family, he's playing basketball. There's a lot of things that people might consider to be distractions there. Um, but he says it keeps him motivated, it keeps him loose, it keeps him happy. How do you see those things? As a distraction or as an additional motivation for him? It doesn't matter where you turn in the back you can have distractions wherever you go. If he plays basketball in L.A. too, so the thing is, I mean, uh, his family, he likes to be close to his family and uh, he feels more secure with him around. And uh, it's, it's a more comfortable situation for him. He's, he's happy with it, so that's what we do. Uh, being that you saw and went against Algeria in the Ruslan fight, being there there with Ruslan, uh, anything that you saw there that could be of a concern other than what we mentioned before with, with his height and him liking to move a lot or should be easy breezy for you? Well, you know, Ruslan's a one-punch knockout puncher and, you know, he's just looking for the one shot all the time. I mean, he's a combination speed fighter. It's a completely different styles. And uh, the fights won't even be anything... I like, no. When does training camp start? Um, eight, eight weeks before the fight, I think. Yeah, yeah, I go ahead. September 7th, I think I go to the Philippines. All right, after we get all this media stuff done, right? <laughs> Sell this baby. <laughs> all right, appreciate it, Freddie. Thank you. All right, on to Shanghai with Freddie Roach. I'm Christina Posher, TopRank.com.